Hey guys, what's going on? This is Charles from Corona Geek, and in this video, I want to show you the online level editor for 14px. Now, I did a full review of that game uh, in a previous video, which I will put a, a link to that in the description below. But uh, we're not going to go through the game so much here as we're just going to show you the online editor and how you can access it from within the game so that you can extend your gameplay and share that out with your friends. So let me just move the game out of the way here for a moment and uh, show you the, the editor. Now this, I'll put a link to, in, to this editor in the description as well so that you can go to it and play with it on your own. But uh, really it's very simple. All you're going to want to do is put in a level name a description for your level and then your name an author name it doesn't have to be anything in particular just an author name uh, then from there you've got all the different items that you want to would want to add to your platformer uh, there's things like just you know your basic ground you can have different uh, objectives to hit like uh, collecting orbs or, or freeing your friends uh, and you can also do things like uh, put in some clouds that you can bounce off off of. You can put spinny stars that you have to avoid, death spikes, all that kind of stuff that you would expect in the game in order to make it fun and challenging. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you kind of how this works. What you do basically is you're going to want to mouse over each one of these things, familiarize yourself with what they are and what they do, and then just pick one. So let's just pick some grass. Uh, and then we'll go back up here. Now the, the whole map is laid out into a grid, so really all you have to do is pick the item that you want to place and then go over here to the grid and just tap on those areas that you, where you want that to be. Uh, it's really very simple. You, you're, the first inclination, I think, is really to drag and drop those items over there, but this is a whole lot simpler because now once you've selected that item, uh, you can click, 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 and, and put everything in place that you want really quickly. So let's just, I'm, just for illustration purposes, I'm not going to get too in-depth on this, but I do want to say uh, we need a starting point and an ending point. So let's just do, here we've got a death floor. So let's put ourselves a death floor in. Uh, I'll make it really easy on myself. And then I'll put in some more of this, uh, just to give it some some, uh, some length. And then what we're going to want to do is choose our player, and we're going to want to mark our starting point. And then at some point, we're going to need an end tile because we want that to be the end of the game. Uh, along the way, we're going to rescue one of our friends. And let's just say that we'll collect some orbs. So there's an orb that to be collected here, an orb to be collected here. And I'll really leave it that simple just because uh, I don't want to get too complex for the for the, this demonstration and to I just want to show you kind of how, the, how this things work. So so there's my level. I can click save. Now what it's going to do is it's basically it's going to uh, give me some what, what my level stats, how they're, they're going to be measured. And also, it tells me that once I publish this, uh, you know, this is kind of it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it, and then I can share that level, so I can get the code. Now that gives me the code for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. I'm actually going to swap screens out just so I can see what's going on here. But I'm going to open up the game. I'm going to click play, tap play there, and then I'm going to go over to online levels. Tap on that. And then it's going to say get new level, which I've already added one. I'll show you that maybe here in a minute. But get new level, tap on that. And all you have to do is enter the code that was shown to you on the website. So let's just say 732-5592. And then go. What that's going to do, uh, unpublished level when you're ready. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and test the level. All right. And so it starts me where I said I wanted to start and then from there I can oh where I can run right into the death floor okay so now I can, I can start over so basically uh, I'm gonna try to not die oh I died see how bad I am at this okay it's not that hard really okay so jump over that go to that that and then there see that's why I made this extremely simple so that I could show it to you uh, but I, I, I cleared all my objectives and so I, I got all three stars and, uh, and that's good if I want to I can play it again uh, but I won't. So let's just go back, let's back out here, and I'll show you. I created a, a previous level, which was a little more advanced, uh, but not quite too much advanced. But I did put in some some bouncy clouds. I, uh, more, I saved more than one friend. And see, the bouncy clouds make you bounce, uh, bouncy, bouncy clouds. And then you can save your friends. Now I put the death spikes right next to the clouds, which makes it kind of a challenge to do everything but there you go 
So you can, as you can see, you can get it, you can get as creative as you want. Now that I mean, that's just a straight up right across the board level but if you wanted to you could make it all crazy there are portals that you can actually take you from one piece of the map to another piece of the map and that way you can stay all within the same level and then just jump from different pieces of the map so that's why when you look at the level editor let's go back to let's go back to that when you look at the level editor editor it's so large you is because you can actually use that ent whole entire area uh, for whatever you want to use it for because again it's, it's there it's kind of it takes place in the in the in the clouds, if you will, uh, and each platform is sort of independent of the others. Uh, so I think that's really uh, really neat. Now uh, I did save it, which means that I could save it and then I could share it. I could I could actually get the uh, the code and I could play it and test it. But if I want to go ahead and publish that app or publish uh, publish the level rather uh, to share out to ever other other people. And then what's going to happen is that that level is going to become fixed, and I won't be able to go back in and edit it again. Which uh, I, I'm hoping that eventually you'll be able to copy levels or be able to make a level locked or unlocked, and so that you could edit it again. Uh, but for right now, like I said, the level editor is in beta, so it's it, that feature is not available uh, at this moment. So you know there are some there's room for improvement. For, for right now, I think this is a great way to extend the gameplay on the app and keep it fresh and make things fun so if you're looking for something like that uh, be sure to go check out the full review of the 14 px game see how it works see if you like it and if you do definitely go check it out i'll have a link in the description below for everything that i've talked about and uh yeah go check it out it's a great game all right so thanks for watching thanks for supporting corona geek and i'll talk to you later bye